if you know anything about me, I've talked about it many times on the gram, in my stand-up, in my book, I talk about my fear of death. I'll be honest, this movie made me feel less afraid of death. The hope, it feels hopeful. After the movie, I turned to my aunt and I was like, this movie is a gift. And this movie just really hits at home the reality of our life on earth and that we are more than a body, more, this is a shell. Our spirit goes on to live and what we do on this earth matters and it echoes in eternity. And I need this reminder continually. I don't want to waste my life. I think that if we could ask ourselves the question more about what happens after we die and really listen to stories like these, I think it will help us actually. And maybe that's why God allows that to happen. I think God must allow that to happen because um, we have real people with real experiences to, to really tell us that that God is real, that heaven is real, that death is not the end. As I've grown older and closer to the inevitable end, <laughs> I have found myself wondering at times whether it's really true. Well, this film makes a counterpoint. It's not a piece of Christian propaganda and it doesn't pretend to prove life after death, but it sure makes the case. I loved it. I plan to see it again and to bring other people with me. And it is so good. It had me on the edge of my seat. It's stories of people who died and came back. And it talks about the things that they saw, the things that they heard and how it changed their lives. And for me personally, it just opened my eyes to realize like eternity is so much more real than earth. And uh, I just got done watching this movie called After Death. And for the first time in my entire life, I've felt hope in relation to death. Um, I don't, these are natural emotions. I just finished watching the movie. Um, I don't even know how to explain to you what I feel, but it's just like, one guy said in the movie that heaven was so perfect. When he came back alive, he was depressed with earth. He was depressed with this thing that we hold on to so tightly. And I have to tell you, it brought me to a a profound place in my thinking about life, death, and the afterlife. Last year, I lost my dear mother, Rachel, to her battle with Alzheimer's disease. As a Christian, I've always had an intellectual belief that there's a heaven waiting for us after this life, and, and that saying goodbye to a loved one is more like saying see you later. But when you enter the crucible of a loved one's final days, when you are up close and personal, with the grave, that big black void of space between us and eternity can sometimes feel very dark and mysterious. And the mystery about where mom might be now gave me a sudden panic as I stared into that void and the void stared back at me. That moment has haunted me ever since that day about 16 months ago. And then I saw after death with its profound scientific and philosophical and spiritual exploration of the chasm between us and the afterlife and the extraordinary depiction of what heaven might look like with all its vivid sights and sounds. It is truly a breathtaking experience watching this film. I've never seen anything like it before. And the film gave me a new reassurance about where my mom is now. It's one of the most extraordinary films you will ever see and it will change your whole view of what comes next for you and everybody you love. Just how deeply that movie has impacted me. Um, I have spent the last 20 minutes bawling my eyes out um, in prayer. It just, it, it has impacted me so much and impacted just the way that I think about prayer, the way that I think about loving others. I honestly cannot remember the last time that I watched a film that impacted me so deeply. Um, and I know that, that that it's going to impact so, so many others. I honestly can't wait to share it. And it just made everything I read in the Bible seem so real, like love, helping people, purpose, love, being a light.